All right, guys, on this video, I want to show you how to disassemble the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 2 in 1. Some screws they stay attached with the chassis. You have to go around, remove every single screw. On that section right there, those screws they stay with the chassis, and the one, the one under, you could remove them completely. After we remove all the screws, we have to get the triangle plastic tool. We have to get it in and then slide it over. Make sure you guys start from the screen section, that part, and then from the sides. The section that is close to the touchpad or mouse, that one is, is the last one that you have, guys have to touch. So it goes by the sides, then on that section, by the screen bracket, continue sliding it over. That's the other side. You slide it over. It's just gonna pop up. You're gonna separate the chassis and the and the actual cover. Now we leave the cover up. And it's time to remove the the connector from the battery. That's the flash storage. No as a SSD. Solid state drive. In there we remove the screws to remove the, the heat sink. And we could see the thermal paste right there. Now that is the part of the section under that plastic cover, the black cover. You could see the memory RAMs and you could see a, a extra slot there to put an extra one. That's the way that you guys put it back and the, the way that you guys remove it. In this part, we have the battery. We have to remove all the screws around and take it out, just lift it. After that, we could remove the speaker right there. And now is the wireless card where we, we remove the metal piece, we take out the cables, and we slide it over. That's the wireless card. That's the section to remove the fan. And the connector that comes from the main logic board to the small board that is on the other side. You just have to transfer that one. Now you have to remove the, the screws that are holding the fan and leave the fan. You could see the fan there if you want to guys wanna you know clean it up you could guys do that. That's the screen flex. And the other place for the touch screen. In there we have the second speaker. We got the mouse, the keyboard, the back lead, and the touchpad. After that we could remove those screws there that are holding the motherboard and that's the one that is holding the actual power jack the DC adapter connector. If we take out all those screws, we should be able to leave the actual motherboard and make sure all the flex are removed. So in that way you don't break any of those because those have like a lock that you have to leave, the plastic lock that you have to lift it and then take out the actual flex. Let's take a look of the motherboard around. You can see all the chipsets, processor, and components, and the different connectors, USBs, USB-C, HDMI, power jack. Now it's time to put the motherboard back and put back all the connectors, the flex around. Make sure you, have, you connect uh, all of them and double check it to make sure that they are in place. 
and you lock them down with the plastic secure lock. Now it's time to put the screw back in. Now it's time to remove the little logi board that is on there. That has some of the USB and connections. You guys have to remove the screws on there and then lift it over. You guys could see the, the connector there. It's a USB and the SD card port the memory from the cameras. Now to put it back, you guys have to put aside the cables, put the screw back in, you see the little triangle right there, that's you know indicating you that you have to put the screw on that section, then put the speaker connector, and then you could guys uh, could put the fan back in place, screw it in. Make sure you connect the, the fan, don't forget about that. And after that, you guys have to put the flex for the data transfer from the main board to the little logic board. Now you guys have to put the heat sink back in, put all the screws back and put the wireless card with the metal piece on top and the screw in. After that, we have to put the battery back in, put all the screws back in. That goes around and then put the flash storage back in and screw it in. Make sure you put a uh, black cover on top of the memory RAMs and put the battery connector back in place. You guys have to push it in a little bit with a screwdriver and then it's time to put the actual cover back in and screw all around it. 